Extreme 3D Pancake and Syrup Bottle Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you an extreme 3D pancakes with syrup pouring over them nail art design. I absolutely love the color and the kind of jelly appearance of the pancake syrup. I think it's absolutely perfect. I hope you guys like this design as much as I do and I hope it doesn't make you too hungry. This one over here loves pancakes. So if you guys are like her, this video might just make you running to your nearest IHOP. But I hope you guys like this design and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. I'm going to begin with an overlay of white acrylic. I decided to go with white in the background because I was thinking of it like a white plate and I wanted to keep it, you know, there's so much going on with this nail that the background should remain fairly invisible. So just add that layer of white and then you're going to want to encase it with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it is nice and strong. Just apply the clear over the top. It doesn't have to be a super thick layer, especially white acrylics are generally, if you have a, like a bigger jar of sculptor acrylic, it's not going to be as delicate as some of the color acrylics. And so if you guys have, and it's, you know, and it works out well, then that works. Otherwise, encase it with clear, and then file it into shape with your e-file, starting off the coarse bit to remove any bulk, and then a finer bit to smooth out the surface texture. I know that my coarse bit likes to make these little scratchy kind of rough texture at the very end, so I just like to basically buff it. So then on a nail form backing, I'm going to lay down five beads of beige acrylic. And just set those down. You can let them self spread if you want. You don't really have to do much to them. You can kind of pat them out slightly. Otherwise they pretty much will spread out just fine on their own. They might have a little bit more of a domed shape. And if you want to get rid of that, you can just tap them out with a, a quick tap tap with your brush. And then I'm going to take some of a, a slightly darker caramely brown and I'm going to start to brown my pancakes. So there's just a little bit in the middle of each one. And if you're thinking they're stacked, why do you have to do this? It is true they are going to be stacked, but you do see in between them. So if you have this done on each one and it shows, then you have that to help you. And you can brown them as much as you like. I personally like my pancakes to be kind of on the paler side of things. So... I wouldn't like them as brown as this, but it looks good for the design, so that helps. So just add that little bit of, of your browning acrylic on top, just like so, and then pick, e pick up each one and stack them. So just grab and set down like so. It's actually, making these pancakes is one of the easiest things that you can do. It's just so simple. You set the acrylic down, add some color to them, and then stack them very simple then with a little bit of very pale yellow acrylic i'm going to be adding a pat of butter on the top of the pancakes set the bead down and then kind of pull it out into a it doesn't have to be a very exact square in fact if it's a little bit rounded it looks like it's melted and that works out really well pick up the pancakes set them on the nail and then fill in underneath just to secure them with a little bit of clear acrylic just to hold them in place better then drill a hole into your pancakes at least part way through with a really narrow bit so that your wire has something to go into. Then I'm going to take a little straw, a little blue straw, and I'm going to be sculpting my syrup bottle around it. So you want to use clear acrylic and add just the first layer. So you want to figure out the height of your syrup bottle at this point. Don't worry too much about the shape otherwise. After you have that done and you've let it set for just a second so that it's not going to get messed up as you add more layers to it, you're going to want to add more of your clear acrylic to give your bottle its iconic syrup shape. So syrup bottles, at least, you know, obviously if you go down the syrup aisle at your grocery store, there's going to be a million, a million and six different shapes of bottle. But in my mind, when I think of a syrup bottle, it almost kind of reminds me of a perfume bottle. It kind of just goes in and then comes back out. It's flat kind of from side to side, but it puckers out on the sides. It's very uh, rounded. I don't know. They're actually really pretty, but just add whatever kind of a shape to your syrup bottle you would like and keep it, you know, however, however you have it in your mind. There's, like I said, so many different kinds. If you wanted to do a specific kind of syrup or a syrup substitute, like an Aunt Jemima bottle, you could go ahead and do that as well. There's obviously choices here. I wanted to go with the actual maple syrup style bottle. After you have it done, just kind of pinch the straw and give it a twist and your bottle should slide right out. And then you can fill in the bottom of the bottle with some, um, some more acrylic. Then you can run a hand file over the two ends to sort of smooth them out. And then glue a piece of wire into the pancakes, into that hole that you created. And glue the other end of your wire into your syrup bottle. And then you can paint the label. So I did a maple leaf label on my bottle, but I started out with a white base to the sticker. 
So just add that on the front of your bottle, add just a, a nice little white space to work with. And then I outlined it with some gold, just like so. And you can do an, a non-specific shape and a non-specific label like I did, or you can certainly do something more, more identifiable. Add the little maple leaf on there with some red. And then I'm going to mix my syrup color. So I didn't have a color that I thought was perfect for my syrup. So I took some jelly, kind of a marigold color, some copper, and a little bit more of a red. And I mixed that together to create my syrup. And the jelly color to start with gave it a really nice sort of a syrupy consistency and, and color. So it wasn't quite so opaque. So start and fill in your bottle and then continue that down the wire and then over your pancakes. And don't be too, you know, precautious about how you apply it to your pancakes. Do it quickly and kind of like messy. Apply plenty. Let it spread down the sides of the pancakes. They don't have to just sit on the top. Let it get onto the white background. And then apply some gel sealer over all of the syrup and over your bottle. And when you apply the gel sealer over the bottle, the clarity will really come to life and you'll be able to see into it. And it's such a such a cool idea to be able to see into the bottle like that and it looks so cool with the syrup inside so i hope you guys are enjoying this video after you have all of that gel sealer applied make sure that you cure it and you might want to cure it a couple times like upside down once and then right side up and go back and forth so that you cure it from all angles and you're all done i am i love all of these pouring designs i have another one coming up for you pretty soon so if you guys like them check back there will be another one very very soon about a week from today and i hope you guys share any recreations with me on facebook or instagram i would love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye